Hi, this is Jeff and Pratt, and we're back today with another main stage video. I'm here in my office, um, and we're gonna be we're gonna be looking at alchemy and the smart controls that come with alchemy. So let me switch on over here, and I will show you what I'm looking at. All right. So here I've opened up the basic default um, template, the alchemy template. When you go to File, New Concert, you open up a brand new concert. Um, and it gives you the option, you know, you just select this Alchemy one and it comes preloaded with all these patches. And uh, as you can see, you've got the smart control window here uh, to give you um, complete control over the sound uh, that, that your patches are making. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of open this up. I'm going to hide. Um, I'm going to hide this window real quick. And you can do that by going to view. And uh, you can hide inspectors. Poof. Um, and so we can just kind of work with this here. Um, these are the channel strips over here. You can go to file or view and you can hide the channel strips as well. Um, that'll just give you the patches. Uh, but I actually want to show the, the channel strips because I'm going to be showing you some stuff here uh, in Alchemy. Um, and I'm not going to go to full screen or perform just yet. Um, but I just kind of want to give you guys a, a hint. Alchemy is a really, really powerful um, plug in here in Mainstage, a very powerful MIDI instrument. Um, that has a lot, a lot of options and things you can do with it. Um, and just, just, you know, they, they give you a real good rundown here in the basic, in the basic uh, new concert template. So I just kind of wanted to play around with some of these sounds and give you guys a little taste of what it sounds like. So first thing, this is the smart control window here, and this is the, um, you know, if you go into layout, sorry about that. If you go here and you look at that inspector, show inspectors um, and you select this smart control you can see it's the modern synth 2 tab there's lots of smart controls here and uh, I mean that the power the power of this uh, the, the features and the, the the power of this this um, this tool is, is really pretty astounding um, but we, we, we use these smart controls um, and we use this modern synth 2 tab and you can see it's called that because it actually has two tabs two two pages and in this alchemy concert that comes preloaded uh, with main stage you have um, I'm gonna hide my inspectors again you've got uh, all these different scents that come preloaded and then um, so for example this is the very first one Arctic noise lead you know it's just a simple uh, synth lead it's a uh, monophonic which means uh, it will only play one note at a time so you know I'm holding that down like a D here and I'm going Just let me show you real fast what I'm doing. So like I'm holding down this one, I'm just going. And I change. So like I said, very simple monophonic, very simple monophonic uh, synth. And you can you can switch. So what I love about Alchemy and the way this smart control is laid out is you can they have these different um, in in a click. Or if you're using your um, you know so if we're over here uh, for example in the perform window, um, it's just a single click and it automatically changes the the character of the patch. So we go here from hover echo to fast drop. Right there, it's more like an echo. Here it is. That, that delay. You got a vocal sound. So it's still monophonic. I mean, it's not changing the patch per se, and it's not really changing the the, the instrument at all. But it, it's just modulating it. And you can see that as I change through this, the delay is a little bit different on each of these. Um, but you can, you know, you can tweak that. So I'm not changing how I'm playing. Just playing the same here, just playing straight quarter notes. Yeah, you hear that delay? That's pretty cool. And then it, it's holding that, but if I if I switched off patch and came back, it, it's saved. It's based on what's saved. Alright. Sweep is great. So the longer you hold down the note, again it's a monophonic instrument. And monophonics compared to a polyphonic. Um, so, for example, this pad here, this celestial voices. This is this is a polyphonic because you've got multiple voices. Not so easy to hear, but if like I switch here to shimmer, 
or um, let's see, Stardust. I was messing with this earth. Lee vocal. There we go. You know, I can hold down a chord. So here's the perform window. We're going to go back to edit. And I'm going to actually open up Alchemy now just to show you how this, how this instrument works. You double click it. Um, Alchemy here is built in with all of these presets. You can see um, they've got all kinds of, you know, you can search by category, arpeggiated. And these are just, these are just presets, guys. I mean, what, what you can do here is some really, um, I mean, it's, it's really powerful stuff. And then you can see it's got the, um, basically that transform pads built in right here. So the way this works is over here you have a broad category. Here you have a subcategory, and as you select this, certain things get grayed out because there's not as many options. Um, and then you have a sound library, you have Tomber, and you know it just it's limiting down your options. The patches here, though, if you select all, 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 these are all the patch options, basically all the different presets. And you can go in and you can create brand new presets and you can save them in here. Um, like if you go to advanced, it, I mean, this is a full synthesizer. It's, it's one of the most powerful instruments in main stage. Um, you could spend days, days just, just sitting here tweaking settings. Um, you know, you've got your different sources. Those are sound sources. You've got a frequency modulator filter on here um, and all sorts of different different filters, different different ways of adjusting the sound. You know, you've got your um, oscillator. Yeah, it's, it's pretty powerful stuff. And, you know, just these patches have built in... No, and you can kind of see how how moving this around affects that those settings. Yeah. So I mean, that's that's really it's really some neat stuff you can do. Um, you know, basically, what what I find myself often doing the most is I'll just kind of close out of this, and I'll end up um, just coming here, just in. In this in this patch you know in this concert this default concert and I'll just kind of go through and I'll, I'll I'll have an idea in mind of what I'm trying to do what I'm trying to create and I'll just kind of listen to some of these ones and I'll find one that sounds close like I like this digital raindrops one um, I was messing around with sun glitters pad earlier it's got a really just beautiful sound but then you can kind of tweak it And then and I can come back here to edit. Again, I can I can open this up. Um, let's say I, I want to. I really like this, but I want to work with it. What I can do is I can click on this and I can go to. Um, I can. Uh, oh, save as. There we go. Save as, and I can save it as a new alchemy. Um, yeah, I can save it as a new alchemy um, setting here. And I can come. I, mean, I can come down here into advanced. And I can start tweaking things like, uh, let's see what I want to mess with. So it's that saw. You, know, you, you can hear that saw and the way that works. Um, let's go, let's mess with the filter here. I 
it's very subtle, kind of what's happening here. This is the effect filter. There's all kinds of really neat ways to adjust and tweak things. alchemy you know you're really you can really pull it open like that um but like i said a lot of times i just find myself here um you know in this in these presets and just kind of working through the transform pad um you know kind of just working through some of these built-in things That's pretty much, I mean, that, that's kind of how I approach alchemy and these smart controls. Um, you know, I just have a lot of fun with this. I can just spend days working on this and messing around with this. Um, but that's, that's, that's all I have for today. Um, you know, I know, that, I know this wasn't really uh, necessarily helpful, um, but it's just uh, kind of showing you some of the, the things that are there under the, under the box. Um, if you have questions about like what what you might want to see in another video or maybe you have questions things I can answer I'd love to hear them in the comments uh, if you like the video leave a thumbs up you know you subscribe for more videos like this um, but that's all I have for today all right have a good day